Hello, hello, hello. Lisa Zimmer here today. It is Monday, April 8th, and I am joining you here on Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips Facebook group. Hey, Julie and Julie. And I like to educate here on building a doTERRA business better, simpler, faster, easier. So as you're joining me, please share in the comments um, what you have found that the Zimmer system has done for you. Yay! Hi, Inga. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Melanie. Okay, so if you're watching this on replay on YouTube, please, please, please join our Facebook group, Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips, because we have dozens of free tools for you in the Files tab. So if you're joining me today, please go to the Files tab in this group when you're done and print everything. Right, so much free information out there. Right, we're gonna answer questions live today. I got a um, question or two that I wanna make sure and answer on the live. Also, um, we have a new handout. We've been begging for this one for over a year. We're launching it early. Um, we were getting ready to do a handout based around and launch a handout today based around the cleanse kit. And that didn't work out because the Tara sold out of cleanse kits. So we decided to hold off on the launch of that. I didn't want you buying a tool from me that you couldn't implement. So we're going to hold off on that. And we bumped this one ahead of schedule. So a special shout out to um, Tracy McKenzie for helping me with this one. It is, thank you for your service. So it is for your emergency responders, um, veterans, active duty, um, policemen, firemen, um, ambulance, the whole ball of wax. So uh, a special shout out to Tracy. In fact, I didn't even get time to contact her <laughs> <laughs> to let her know that we'd be launching it early. So um, hopefully she can join me on a later live and give you a little bit more background about this. As you know, we now partner with um, experts or people in those fields um, of topic to make sure that we're providing you the best tools. So thank you for your services available on the website right now, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. So let me tell you a little bit about it, what makes it special, and then we'll dig into um, questions. All right, so for this one, um, you may or may not know um, that there are a lot of um, things that emergency responders and people in these fields um, need support for, right? So um, they are in very challenging positions where they serve. And with that, we wanted to turn around and do something um, to help. So for example, one of the recipes helps with grounding and helping them feel more present. Um, there are recipes for um, that focus on anger, frustration, um, staying strong physically and mentally, um, and sleeping, nightmares, night terrors, all kinds of good stuff in here, all right? So um, that leads me to my next question, right? People get these handouts and they're like, what's that for? What's that for? What's that for? Or I post a recipe on a Facebook page and they're like, what's that for? What's that for? What's that for? I want to help you understand the best way to learn what things are for is because a lot of times people will post a recipe and for them it's for one thing right but if you take the time and look up each oil for that recipe you're gonna that's how I have learned so much about the oils okay so when someone posts the recipe I don't ask them what it's for I go and look up every single oil in that recipe I look it up in the oil magic book I have a link for this and I go look it up in the emotions book, right? There's an emotions book. Um, you can get that book everywhere. It's super famous. It's on Aroma Tools. They have free shipping right now on Aroma Tools. It's on, I'm sure it's on Oil Life. It's on Amazon. It's everywhere. Look up 
each oil in a recipe. That's how I learned all the random weird things about oils that I never would have learned had I not looked each oil up. So when you get our handout, do the same thing, right? Because then you're going to expand your oil knowledge and these oils are going to be even more valuable to you. Um, I learned about the emotional benefits of grapefruit and aroma touch. Those are two oils that are in my daily routine every single day because I went and looked up all the benefits for them and found so many benefits for me that weren't being promoted. Um, the thank you for your service is in the U.S. office only right now. Um, we do it will be suitable for UK. Yep. So it's going to be suitable for all markets. All you have to do is um, edit the name of an oil. If there's a blend, I don't even know if there. There's two blends, deep blue and aroma touch. So you would only have to um, edit those. Uh, but yeah, super easy to edit our make and takes. Trifold's a little more challenging because there's so much content. I want to encourage people not to edit the tools too much. People are like, oh, I have a better idea. And that's awesome. We love that. We want to encourage, you know, the thought and the creativity. But be careful because there's a method to the madness of what we do. And the time you invest um, doing a lot of that stuff, for example, the trifold that I'm using right now is the very first one. So Tara's made like four or five changes since the very first one. I'm still using the first one. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares what pictures of the natural solutions gets on it. Nobody cares about the price of the peppermint. Nobody cares that it says Maluka instead of tree, tea tree. Nobody cares. They still sign up. So don't overthink it. and Don't spend um, too much time being perfect in doTERRA. Done is better than perfect. Spend your time talking to people and spend your time getting the tools out there in their hands to get them enrolled. All right, so lots of methods to the madness. So go grab your thank you for your service. This is perfect, right? Next month, Memorial Day, National Armed Services Day. We, we're going to launch it next month, but again, um, the hormone handout we are working on and a cleanse um, thing we were working on are on hold. So Tara um, has sold out of the cleanse kits indefinitely until they can get the white Zendocrine um, quality under control. They are not happy with the quality control of the white Zendocrine complex. So that is sold out, and they do not have an end date. Um, they thought they were going to bring it back in April, but it did not pass quality control again. And so cleanse kits are out, white Zendocrine's out with no definitive date. So do not promote those products right now. All right, get your thank you for your service handout at lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. Um, there's one available. If you want it for any other country, um, edit it at um, this time. Right, so we have a great video on how to edit tools. Um, it is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Zimmer PDF editor. I'm making bit.ly's for everything so I can memorize where you can find them. All right, want to um, tell you about some other free tools you got going on in your files tab right now. I made a cover for everybody for your binders if you want one. And then there's white space here. You can stick a card here, a sticker. You can edit it with the PDF editor, put your picture and your contact information. But it just says my doTERRA binder and then um, the contents that I have in my binder and then in parentheses where you can find that. So drawing slips, free and files tab, class checklist, free and files tab. Um, enrollment kits of all the kits, free on doTERRA.com. I have my oils now, what? Free in the files tab. 30-day cleanse checklist, free in the files tab. Do you see a theme there? Most of our items are free in the files tab. It's primarily our trifolds and make and takes that are for sale on the website in the FAQ system, right? So get your um, binder put together. Here's my binder. I did a video on my binder. Right, here's my binder. This has everything. In fact, I got these cute little pencil cases, see-through pencil cases. So my trifolds are in a nice pencil case. 
I have A to Z guides in here. And then I have a second pencil case that I throw threw in here for my class last week with pens and drawing slips, right? I don't keep it in there all the time because it's making it too thick for me. Some other great stuff you want to make sure and get now that you may or may not know about. My new rank planners, right? I created rank planners for beginner to premier and then every rank after that. Super, super important that you transition to the Zimmer rank planner, right? What makes them different? The old rank planners, for example, for premier, have that. You can't really get to premier with that, all right? So how do you set up the people under these two circles? You gotta have a plan. We're visual human beings, most of us. So have a plan with your visuals. Who's gotten the rank planners and printed them out and started using them? Julie says, do you keep multiple copies of your make and takes in your binder at all times or just one copy? It just depends. So I teach a lot of the Aroma Touch class and the Essentials class and the Emotional Edge class. So I actually have um, one in each sleeve, but then I have like, depending on the class, like five sleeves, six sleeves of each one. So I have like five Aroma Touch sleeves because I'll pull all those out and put a sleeve at the tables, okay? But the other classes, I just have one. Sometimes I might have two or three so that I could pull it out if I'm meeting with someone. Just do one, don't make it hard, don't overthink it. All right, so get your rank planner, super important. People go in the circles. People do not go next to the circles. We call that wasted volume for rank. I'm gonna teach you using these, right, in Mandy Johnston's placement group. We're gonna teach you how to build and optimize rank, power three, and unilevel. All three, the trifecta, right? We're not building for power three, we're not building for rank, and we're not building for unilevel. We're teaching you how to build and maximize for all three, right? So super important, print out those rank planners and join Mandy Johnston's structuring group. All right. Feel free to ask questions as we go. All right. Okay, I will, when I'm done, just like always, I'll post at the top all the links and all the um, tools and everything. Awesome. Excellent. Valerie said she printed a rank planner and her upline saw it and loved it and asked for a copy. Awesome. Tell your upline to join Biz Tips so she can get in on all the goods. All right, so here's a question that I had. My people are wanting to build now because of your trifolds and make and takes. Yay, that's what we want to hear, right? So um, a doTERRA builder finally has people wanting to build, right? She's not having to coax them along. They're coming to her and saying, wow, I love this new system. I love these trifolds. I love these make and takes. That's a lot easier. I want to do it now too. And so now she's like, eek, what do I do? All right. So what she needs to do, here's what I do. I'm going to tell you, I have launched a bunch of new builders, right? So here's what I do, 100% exactly what Zimmers do. So now you know why I call our group, what would Zimmers do, WWZD. That's our intense training. Um, I don't want to say intense, more intense, right? Because we answer your questions every single day, and we take care of you every single day in that group. It's open right now. You can join WWZD3. It's um, on our website. LisaZimmer.net forward slash shop, click on tools and order WWZB3, or it's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash WWZD3, okay? So get that. It is launched now. Then we start um, the daily trainings April 30th, right, through the end of May. So get in there now because I have how I teach my make and take. I have a video of me teaching a make and take. I have tools in there that you can't get anywhere else. It's just for WWZD registrants, right? So get in there. So here's what I do to launch. What would Zimmers do? One, I tell them to go to our FAQ for builders, shares and builders, right? If they're ready to build. 
what it does is it helps take them step by step through the process and helps me identify what they really are. Are they a hobbyist? Are they a glorified hostess? Are they a sharer? Are they a super sharer? Are they a builder? What do they really want to be when they grow up in doTERRA? And it has the questions and the process to ask so you can get that answer. So you can get our Builder FAQ on the website and then you can add it to your private members group. You can add it to your private builders group. People add them as units. Lana Perry will add it for you if you need for $20. Uh, I have a separate group, okay? Here's why. I did not want that in my builder group because my builder group is executives and above. I had everyone getting added to my builder group and then newer builders or younger builders or uh, lazier builders, right, that aren't with us anymore, uh, would just dump, dump them in that group. Oh, you want to build? Dump them. Dump them in here and Lisa will do everything for you. No, 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 no. So we had people in there who would get in there and then they'd start seeing cleanse kits out of stock, endocrines out of stock, systems down, get your convention tickets, and it was frying their brain. So I do not put brand new builders in my builders group, right? That prevents people from just dumping and running, okay? That helped me to identify who on my team were real builders, were really taking care of their new people and really duplicating because they were forced to take care of people on their own from zero to executive, okay? And then get into our executive and above builder group. So I created a separate group for my builder FAQ. It's for shares and builders. And it's just the FAQ, 20, 25 posts about building, right? So someone says to me, I wanna share and build doTERRA, what do I do? I say, excellent, I'll add you to this group, I'll tell them, I tell them what it is, I tag them in it, and I say, read through posts one through seven. Once you've done that, get back to me, and let's schedule a time to chat. And our time to chat will either be over Zoom or in person. So why do I do that? Number one, if they can't independently read through posts one through seven and return my call and schedule a time to chat, then that is not someone that I'm going to invest hours in talking about building because they can't even do step one, okay? Give them action items and tests to see their level of commitment, their level of follow through, all right? You have to be testing them. Listen, not to people's words, watch, watch for their actions, right? I was going to say listen to their actions, right? But you can't listen to actions. Pay attention to people's actions, not their words, right? 90% of the people that say I want to build will never do anything. So make sure that you're giving them action items to complete. If they don't do it, they don't do it. Set them free. Let it go. Let them be what they really want to be, which is playing. They love doTERRA. Let them love doTERRA. That doesn't mean they need to get hours and hours and hours of your sharing, building, and mentoring time, right? All right. So I add them to the FAQ. They read through posts one through seven. It tells them a few things to do. Upgrade the Wellness Advocate if you have it already. Here's what that means. Get your free website. Here's how you get it, right? So now they say, I did those things. Awesome. Let's schedule our time to chat. Then we read through it together. I literally go through it post by post. Post one, did you upgrade the Wellness Advocate? Did you get your website? Awesome. Did you, I don't remember what the next ones are, right? So you go through it with them. And you ask them along the way, how do you feel about that? Do you see, where do you see yourself here in this post? <clears throat> do you see yourself as a hobbyist? You just want to have some fun, host some classes, enroll a few people, get your oils paid for? Do you see yourself as part-time, blah, 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 full-time, blah, 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 blah. And you ask them, how do you know how to help them moving forward if you're not asking them? There are so many different levels of builders, right? The rank planners, Jackie, are free. They're in the files tab. Uh, so many different levels of build, right? Most of my builders that are in my builder group 
aren't what we would in doTERRA call builders. They're hobbyists, they're sharers. I have a handful, right, that work on doTERRA every day that build, that are replacing income, etc. But many just want to share. Awesome. Support them how they want to be supported. They don't need a weekly mentor call if they're not enrolling anyone, right? No one needs a weekly mentor call if they're not enrolling anyone. Okay, so the FAQ walks them through the process. Why is that so important? Just like everything else we teach in doTERRA here, the Zimmer system, I want them to have a resource so that when it's their turn to duplicate, they're not depending on words from their mouth and their own brain, right? I want Susie Q Builder, who just said I want to build, go through this with me. And if the very first person she enrolls says they want to build, she knows what to do. She adds them to the Builder FAQ. She says, read through posts one through seven and schedule a time to chat. She doesn't have to freak out. She doesn't have to know what to do next because she's going to do exactly what I did. She's going to read the posts. She's not going to have to think or make stuff up. That's what duplication is. If duplication requires a bunch of stuff to come out of your mouth and out of your brain, you are not duplicatable. Okay? Right. So now next step, how do you teach the class then? Who does what? Who's responsible for what? Ask them. The question, one of the questions was, who teaches it? Well, you should probably teach the first one, but you know what? Ask them. Did they want to teach the first one? Show them the Lisa Zimmer video on how to teach a class in WWZD and ask them, do they want to do that? Or would they like you to do that? Let them do it on their own if they're that type of person. Let them make mistakes. Let them fail. Tweak it, fix it, help them be better. Ask them. Don't be their dominant. Don't be their boss. Don't be their controller. Be their partner. They're your business partner. They're not your employee. You're not there to tell them everything to do. You're there to partner with them and find out how they would like to do it. Here's the options. I can teach the class, or you can teach the class. Here's Lisa Zimmer in WWZD teaching a class. Do you want to do that? Boom, done. Ask them. Partner with them. Don't be their bossy boss. Nobody comes to doTERRA wanting to work for other people. Okay. All right. So someone asked about success secrets um, for convention. I am not speaking at Success Secrets pre-convention, right? I um, stepped out of that so that I could have more free time. Um, unfortunately, it takes a whole day for me, um, and we speak for 15 minutes. It's an awesome, awesome event, don't get me wrong, um, but I decided I wanted to spend more time with my team that day, and I'm going to do little pop-ups all week, right? So on Tuesday, we're going to figure out our schedule, Monday night, Tuesday. Tuesday day, a couple days at lunch. Um, I'm going to announce places to do pop-ups where you can just come, gather around, join me, and it's going to be totally free. And we're going to share like little lunch and learns all over. All right, so I want to make sure um, to answer that. I will not be doing any pre-convention pre -convention formal speaking engagements because they um, are all um, eight-hour commitments for the whole day for me to speak for 15 to 20 minutes. So um, I want to use that time um, better for my team and for you. All right. So, um, but love them if you're free, please go. All right. So back to how do we teach? Ask them. Do they want to teach? Do they want you to teach? Ask them. Where are you? Do you want to provide the tools? Are you going to provide the tools or am I going to provide the tools? Try folds, drawing slips, oils, the yay oils roller to pass around, the handouts and the plastic sleeves are laminated, goodie bags, ask them, okay? Ask them at the end of class, you get two choices. You're going to share and build, right? Part of your discussion in your FAQ is the 100 PV monthly commitment. They are not committing to that. You can't provide all those tools, all that stuff, 
give them the income from it when you're providing the expenses, right? Use some common sense and think for yourself here, right? So a new builder, if they say, yeah, I want the enrollment, yeah, I want the $5 rollers, great, then they provide everything. That's what it's for, it's tip for tat. If you're taking the income, the income pays for the tools, so they need to provide the tools, right? Teach them the right way. Free, right? So what happens is in doTERRA, people just free, 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 free samples, and then we get mad because people don't enroll. Free tools and free this, that, and free mountains and, and free unicorns and free rainbows for our new builders, and they take and take and take, and now you've taught people that, hey, your upline just gives you everything for free, and you get to make all the money. That's not real life, and that's not a real business. Teach them how to do a real business so they duplicate it properly right? If they want the income, teach them how to run a business. They provide the tools, okay? So my very first one, um, when I launch a new builder, I ask them, what do they have? Now, for example, the one I had last Thursday, she didn't have labels, so I brought the labels. I'm not going to charge her for the labels, right? I just said, don't worry about it, I got them, right? Pick and choose. Don't give away the farm with your builders as well. You're setting them up for failure and not real life. Anita says, do you pass out the extra copies of Make and Takes even though they have not enrolled yet? Anita, watch the training video for the class, How to Maintain Control and Run a Make and Take. It's on, um, in here, and then also um, it's on lisazimmer.net forward slash videos. We have a very clear process. It's also on the class checklist and the files tab. So I'll have, say, I have 10 people in class. I pass out 10 copies of the essentials. If I'm teaching the essentials class, I pass out 10 copies in a plastic sleeve so that each person gets one, and we use that in class. And then when they're done making rollers, I go back and scoop those all up and take them back. They're mine, not theirs, right? So they don't get to keep those recipes, right? That's in every make and take training video. They do not get to keep the recipe. If they enroll, I email them the, um, a screenshot of the recipes or whatever. So uh, nobody gets the recipes if, if they don't enroll, right? Same thing. Stop giving everything away, right? If you give everything away, your free services, your free rollers, your free recipes, what do they need you for? You have to create a situation where people need you. They don't need you if you keep giving everything away, right? So decide who's providing the oils and the rollers. Whoever that person is collects the five dollars, of course, because that pays for the oils and rollers. You can break up pieces with your builders. I have builders who are like, I don't have all those oils yet. Will you provide that? Yes, I will. And then I'll provide the rollers and the labels, and then I'll collect the five dollars per roller, right? Just common sense. You can work out those details with your builders. And then at the end of class, you'll um, handle it just like everything else, right? Hopefully, if you're launching a builder, you will have discussed this up front, and it's the how to compensate the hostess, because of course, they're a hostess, okay? And that information is in the announcements tab in this group, where we have spelled out for you also the units tab step by step, and one of the steps is how to compensate a hostess, right? All right. Questions are popping up here. I'm going to come back. All right. What additional steps do you give a builder after they do your first step? So that's all spelled out for you, Melanie, in the FAQ. So, for example, one of the things that every single person in doTERRA does when they're teaching to build, whether they have my FAQ or do my system or not, is have them make a list of 100 names. You use doTERRA's share and build guides. Hopefully everybody's reading those. They've been in use for years and years and years. Grab the share and build guide. It's got steps on there if you don't have the FAQ system yet. Everybody needs to make a list of 100 names, and they need to schedule a couple classes. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, I'm going through and reading quick. Gabriella says, I love the idea of not overwhelming and giving them steps first. Yes, it needs to be set up in blocked out sections. That's why our FAQ is working. We have uh, double 
presidential using it, we have presidentials using it, blues using it. Our FAQ system was created to make your life easier so that you were duplicatable without you having to be the one to say everything. All right. Anita, yep, so you got it, Anita, yep. We want to protect our stuff so I'll just screen shoot when someone enrolls um, at a class if they want those recipes I'll just screen shoot it and send it to them what do you suggest for people that don't have Facebook and aren't computer savvy I'm not sure what you're referring to Sadie but everything that we create is usable for non Facebookers right so the FAQ system when you buy it is a PDF set up into sections like post one, post two, post three. You cut and paste post one and you email it to them. Or you send them the PDF and you say read through post one through seven. Doesn't matter if they have Facebook or not. That's what you're referring to. Be their partner. Daisy says, I'm so grateful to you for this video. So glad I found you. I'm glad you found me too. All right, so yeah, I'm super excited about the pop up. So um, I decided that um, how was I going to make this convention the best convention um, for me and my team? I still wanted to serve everybody. I still want to speak. I still want to meet all of you that aren't on my team. Um, but I needed to find a way that I was available for my team the Tuesday before and available for you all and I didn't want to deal with charging people and collecting money and, and verifying tickets and it just fried my brain. I just want to share some free tips and share some doTERRA that week and have a good time and be more relaxed. I, if you've watched any of my stuff, I don't love the public speaking stuff. I've done it three, two times, one so overwhelming I think I've only done it twice but it feels like a million so it's so stressful I'm filled with anxiety when I do it but when I do stuff like this I do this every week I do this once or twice a week and it doesn't phase me at all right and um, but the public speaking totally stresses me out and um, so we're just gonna do the fun pop-ups guys at convention pre-convention Joyce says, could the new handout be used for others in service, maintenance, postal workers? Absolutely. Anyone that has stressors, that works with the public, absolutely. Inga says, I hope you do a pop-up on Friday night, Saturday during the day. Absolutely. I'll check and see um, when our flight leaves. But um, my goal is to try to do a pop-up a day. Sadie says, laminate everything. So now I do, right? I laminate um, everything. I don't use just plastic sleeves. I laminate everything. All right, what do you do when someone takes pics of the sheet on their phone? First of all, that's hardly ever going to happen. Let's not worry about things that aren't a big deal, right? Who cares? Whatever. If they're going to be those people, let them be those people. Move on, right? Stop. Um, don't try to over control everything. Say, hey, those recipes um, are not to be shared outside of this group for right now, right? We share plenty of other recipes, folks, right? There's the I have my oils now what plus favorite re recipes. People will watch this video and are like, why doesn't she share anything, right? Anything to nitpick me apart. And I share plenty, right? You're controlling your environment for a reason, right? Again, if you give them everything and send them home with everything, and they go order oils on Amazon, which is a terrible idea, right? Because they're tainted, they're um, adulterated, whatever. You can't be mad. You just gave them all the information to go and do it, right? So all you can do is your best. Gabriella says, what do you do when they do that? Whatever. Don't worry about it. Go scoop up the thing. They're not going to think, oh, I better take a picture of this right now. So that's hardly ever going to happen. So don't stress out about it. What if they are customers already enrolled with Essential Make and Take? Um, great. Um, trying to figure out what you're asking, Angelique. What if they are customers already enrolled with Essential Make and Take? Then they would already have these recipes because they would already have a book, they would already have, I have my oils now, what plus recipes, so they'd already have those recipes. All right, they always wanna take a picture of the, 
Oh, I have never had anyone out of hundreds of make and takes take a picture. So it's fascinating that so many of you are asking this. All right. So don't worry about it. Move on. That is what I just thought. Laminate. Yeah. And you let them know, right? So if you've watched my make and take video and make and take classes and all that, so you'll see you always want to talk about why they should enroll with you. You're going to get these recipes and you're going to get a whole bunch of other recipes, right? Depending on what you've purchased, you can share some of those recipes. You don't send them the flyer, you screen shoot a recipe or, or whatever. You can host your own class and get these recipes, right? Sell you. Sell what you are offering. You're not required to give everything away for free, right? So stop giving everything away for free. It's very frustrating for me, as you can tell, because people give everything away for free, and then they come back, and everybody took all my stuff for free and, and then didn't, didn't get their own account because you didn't tell them to, all right? I'm going to tell you all how to get these recipes for free at the end of class. I'm going to tell you how to all get that Yay Oils Roller for free at the end of class. I'm going to tell you all how to get this goodie bag with shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, pain cream, um, blah, 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 vitamins, whatever you're giving away for free at the end of class. At the end of class. Awesome. You're going to get all these things for free. You can get a free roller. Let's help you get your own account. Let's help you pick a kit. You'll get a free roller. You'll get all these recipes for free. Please don't take pictures. If you see someone pull up the camera, say, please don't take pictures of the recipes. This is proprietary copyrighted information. Thanks so much. Control the situation. Don't overstress about it. If they already took the picture, the world's not going to come to an end. Right? But have a process. The process is, these are amazing. Here's how we use them. Here's how you get them. Here's why you want to get your account with me. Because I am amazing. If you get your oils anywhere else, you don't get me. You're going to get these recipes when you get your own account with me. You're going to get into my private Facebook group where we have people answering questions for you 24-7. Why do they need to enroll with you if you are telling them they don't know? Do you know that when I got my doTERRA account, I got confused with LRP, frustrated, got a second order, didn't understand any of it. Um, the person I enrolled with was out with live stuff, didn't answer my question. I canceled it all and I ordered on Amazon because no one told me why not to. The second bottle of On Guard I got clearly wasn't On Guard. If you don't tell people that they should order, and get their own account with you because they get you and here's what you bring to the table you're doing a disservice to you and you're doing a disservice to them people choose doTERRA not just because the products work they choose doTERRA because of the person that's helping them are you helpful do you follow up you continue to educate them and contact them and be their friend and be their person? Are you their person? Or are you back, oh, I don't want to bother them. They might think that I'm being pushy and being a salesperson. Okay, I would fire you because that is not providing customer service. I just spent money on a product because of you and now you're not here for me, right? You're not educating me. You're not following up with me. You're not letting me know about the process. You're not letting me know I should be ordering LRP, right? Be the best doTERRA advocate. Help them. Sell them. Be a salesperson. Salespeople are not bad. Salespeople help people buy a product and learn how to use it to change their life. We don't just sell stuff. We take care of people, right? I was in real estate from 1999 to 2011. It took care of people. Someone just posted a couple days ago 
their 10 year anniversary of moving into their house and tagged me in it. I haven't been in real estate in eight years. Eight years. I'm still to this day top of mind awareness for everyone in this area for real estate. Why? I was just a salesperson. I was just selling them something because I took care of people and I did what was best for them. You can do that in doTERRA. You can build a business of selling products and build yourself an amazing foundation for your future. Guess what? If doTERRA closes tomorrow, do you know who's still going to be in business? Me. Because I show up every week and I teach people about health and wellness and take care of, taking care of themselves. So if doTERRA closes their doors tomorrow, all I have to do is find another company and product that I love and share it with people. They're going to trust me because I tell the truth. I'm never going to be out of business because I always do what's best for other people and I take care of them. I hope that makes sense. You can tell I'm super passionate about sales and marketing and customer service. I want you to build customers for life. Sorry, this is more WWZD content right here. Customers for, oh, I'm getting goosebumps, getting all jazzed up. Customers for life. My very first job out of school for a whopping $7 an hour was yellow page ads for doctors and healthcare providers for voluntary hospitals of America or something, BHA, right? Through a yellow pages company. Do you know I took such good care of each one of those doctors and marketing personnel at hospitals, et cetera? I was 22 years old, I'm 47. So, oh my gosh, 25 years ago. So 25 years ago, right, my very first job, I took such good care of those people. These are just random people placing yellow page ads, folks, that I am still friends with some of them today. Some of them were invited to my wedding five years later. Customers for life because they are people. Build relationships with people. Don't just sell stuff. Take care of people and build relationships and customers for life because it's the right thing to do, not because it contributes to your bottom line. Okay, I got off on a tangent there. I'm super passionate, folks. I get so upset when people say, I don't want to be cliche. I don't want to be a salesperson. Well, then don't. Take care of people. All right, got to read through these now. All right. What would Zimmer do? I have a public education and team education page all in one. Would it be okay to use the customers FAQ in that, or should I start a second page for customers enrolled only? So, um, the problem is when you have stuff public and um, private. So for one, Angelique, you need a closed private group for your members for sure. And here's why, right? In public education, you can post frankincense supports cellular health, right? In your closed group, your customers can say, here's what frankincense really did for me. So no matter what, I would get yourself a closed group for your enrolled members for quality detailed education on what the products really do. You aren't supposed to be posting FAQs in anything public. That's um, something when you purchase it that you agree to. All right. Excellent, Jasmine says she likes that. These recipes aren't to be shared outside this room for now, right? Make people feel special. That's what that's about, it's making them feel special. People aren't going to feel special about enrolling with you if you're giving all the same things to everybody else in the room. Make them feel special. 
how do I make my members that are already enrolled feel special? Hey, members get to come to my workshops every month where I spoil you. All right. Angelique, do we give the recipes? No. The recipes are on it. They read it. They make it. Watch the video on how to run the make and take and look at your checklist in the files tab. People are asking the same questions over and over. Um, yes. Angelique says, I'm just starting. Okay, so Angelique, so get started, right? So to get started with the Zimmer system, get your trifold, get the essentials. You can type get started in the search bar, and my get started checklist pops up. And you buy the tools on lisazimmer.net shop, forward slash shop, and you can watch the how to get started videos on lisazimmer.net forward slash videos. When you buy something, all this information is sent to you again. I have this information posted in a million places. Every receipt has it. So checklist is in the files tab. And we have a get started document in here. You can click units in here and it walks you through step by step. You can click announcements tab in here and it gets you started step by step. You can look at the cover photo and we have information on there on how to get started. So when you get started, this group is very overwhelming, Angelique. So don't be overwhelmed. Put a lot of this to the side and just click on get started, right? We don't want you to be overwhelmed. There's two years worth of videos and education in here, so don't let this stuff overwhelm you. Here's the other thing I want you to remember. Just go do it. Go fail fast. You're not going to do everything right the first time. Stop planning. Take action. Go host a class. Go do a make and take. Prepare as best you can and just do the darn thing. You're going to learn from it. You're going to learn what you did right, what you did wrong. Because after every class to this day, I say, what did I do wrong? Right? I still do classes wrong. I had a class last week. I never even got to speak. The guests, one of the guests that came talked the whole time. I never even got a word in edgewise. After an hour, I finally just said, you guys are going to do great. And I left, right? And so lovely person, but I couldn't even um, speak. So there's going to be times when things don't go your way. So obviously in my mind, you know, I didn't get to do what I do. So I went, I failed. I, I don't know how I'll fix that for next time, right? But don't be perfect. Just do. So people plan, 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 and they never get their doTERRA business going. So stop planning and just take action. My first classes were a disaster. One of my first classes, right, um, that someone else taught, there were like 22 people, and they, we never even got to how to enroll, right? So I knew next time I wanted to make sure that was in the first 45 minutes to an hour, right? Go just do stuff. Mess it up and learn from it. But you're not going to get to that point if you don't just jump in and do. Like, I want to challenge you all to schedule a class in the next 7 to 10 days. Just do it. Schedule a class for next week. I don't care. Just schedule it. Do a Facebook event. Call some people. Do a class. Just do it. Don't worry about what tools you have to have. As long as you got some oils, and you can show them how to make a roller. Just do it. Okay? So just start digging in and do. My husband thinks your system is so awesome. He asked me to put him in your group so he could listen to your videos on his own. Awesome. Thanks, Maureen. I'm so glad. The oils sell themselves. You are really selling a relationship with you. 100% what Jennifer Kinney just said. Right? The oils sell themselves if they use them, right? So that's why we do make and take, so they can right there in class use them, right? No need to pre-sample and give stuff away to get them there, right? Get them there. They're going to want to come. They're going to use them in one setting, in one touch, and you're going to do all these amazing things, and you're going to sell yourself and sell what makes you special, while teaching them what makes doTERRA special. All right. The private Facebook group, one that you don't have to remain compliant on, I'd love to offer that. So with doTERRA, um, 
they are encouraging us to speak freely on video in your private members group. Always need to be compliant online in writing. All right, just reading through. Is this information appropriate for Australian customers? Asks Florence. I'm not sure what information you're asking, Florence, but everything we do, you can use for any market. You just edit it. Do you give your customers a little something for coming to your monthly workshops? Yes. So for example, my monthly workshop, um, the people that came in person all got a free ginger drop this time. Do you ever, here's a good one. So Laura asked that about free stuff. Okay, so at my monthly workshop, every month I've been asking people who use Lifelong Vitality Pack to stand up and provide a testimonial, right? So I say everyone that stands up, provide a test, not everyone provides a testimonial, right? Well, I call on two or three people. They provide their testimonial. Then I say, excellent, go grab a ginger drop. Then I say, everybody stand up that isn't using Lifelong Vitality Pack. I started this, I think, three months ago, four months ago. And the very first time out of like 70 people, like 15 people stood up. So then I had all 15 of those people come get a free one-week sample and um, type in the search bar LLV sample to see how I sample LLV, right? It's 10 pills. Yes, it works or I wouldn't do it. And I gave that free. As of Saturday, I'm not sure how many people were at that one. It was a smaller group, maybe 50, 60 people. Saturday, guess how many people stood up that had not used LLV yet? Three. Now, if you wonder how we're Blue Diamond with only 1,700 people, oh, the BOGO Blue Diamond, but Blue Diamond nonetheless, right? 160,000 in volume, only takes 75,600 to hit blue. With 1,700 people, I'm one of the smallest Blue Diamond teams there is. That. Get every single person on LLV. Why? Because it's the best product there is, and they need to order it through LRP to get the best price and get the point. All right, three people in that room not using Lifelong Vitality Pack. All right, so yes, I do reward people, but there's a method to the madness, baby. Everybody in that room just sold Lifelong Vitality Pack for me. Do I care about selling it? No, I care about what it does for them. Right, do you ever have builder boot camps that outside builders can attend? No. Or is WWZD the only platform for builders? Or do you want to? I'm not sure if you're talking about my team. I do mentoring with my team. But for people not on my team, I do not do one on one mentoring anymore. Um, it was like $125 an hour at, at that point. And um, I didn't feel that was cost effective for all of you. So I feel that's for one hour when for $45 you can get me. Um, every day for 35 days for yeah so we went to group mentoring WWZD is the platform for builders and then this free group oh hey Katie Katie Hello. I'm almost done all right done is better than not at all Katie says that Katie Towers felt that at my class last week yep done is better than not at all so go do a class I don't care if it's a complete train wreck you're gonna learn something my next class is Oils of the Bible. Awesome. How do I enroll in your training group? Go to my fa my website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on the tools. There's tools and make and takes. You're going to click on tools and you're going to click on WWZD and you'll check out. When I'm done with these lives, I repost all the links for everybody too. Done is better than perfect. Yeah. Let's see. Linda's giving away a free ginger drop at her Saturday workshop too. All right. Any tips of inviting to class Saturday event that we have not talked to them in a long while to not be awkward? I don't understand the question. Any 
Just invite people. So I want you to work on your mindset about awkward, pushy, salesy. You clearly feel awkward, you feel pushy, and you feel salesy. So the problem is not the customers, the problem is in you. So let's get you working on that mindset. There's nothing to feel awkward about, nothing to feel pushy about, and nothing to feel salesy about, right? So it sounds like if I'm interpreting your question right, you've got people you haven't talked to in a while. So first of all, let's fix that. Let's talk to them more often, right? So I hadn't talked to someone in a little bit. I hadn't seen them comment on things. So I made them a winner Thursday and rewarded them with $20 in free products so that I could have a reason to talk to them. That did not feel awkward, awkward, that did not feel pushy, that did not feel salesy. All you have to do is invite people. Stop feeling awkward, pushy, or salesy about inviting people to an opportunity. Do you see doTERRA as an opportunity of a lifetime? I do. I don't care who you are, how I meet you. You could be sitting next to me on an airplane. I'm going to tell you about doTERRA because I have the most amazing opportunity for you that's going to change your life. I don't feel awkward, pushy, or salesy because I have the power to change their life. There's nothing salesy about that. I have this thing. It can help change your life forever for the better. You should get it. Pretend, Angelique, that you don't sell doTERRA. Pretend you're talking about this glass of whatever that you got at Costco on Saturday and it changed your life. You don't sell it. But if this changed your life on Saturday, you got it at Costco, would you tell everybody about it? Yeah. You don't even sell it. So just because you sell, some, sell something doesn't mean you need to feel awkward, pushy, or salesy. Do you feel awkward, pushy, or salesy when you post about this bottle of whatever that you got at Costco that you don't even sell? Do you feel bad about that? Do you feel awkward? Do you feel, right? And I'm not picking, picking on you, Angelique. This is for everyone because this is a huge problem, right? I noticed this at the very, very beginning of launching builders. They'd be talking about this doTERRA up one side and down the other, and they were just a customer. WCs, awesome, doTERRA changed my life. Awesome, my headache's gone. Awesome, my migraine's gone. Awesome, I feel so much better. They decide to build. I don't want to tell anyone. I feel awkward, pushy, or salesy. So it's not just you. This is a fantastic question for Angelique today, right? Because everybody does it. Stop it. Just because you put the word builder next to your name and you're now telling everybody about it and getting money from it doesn't mean that you stop talking about it. Don't put builder next to your name and withdraw this opportunity from others. Invite people. All you're doing is inviting and sharing. Hey, Susie Q, we got a workshop this Saturday. Can't wait for you to come. Hey, Susie Q, got to make him take him. It's seen her talk to you in a while. Come fun. Come have fun with us. We're making $5 rollers. That's why I created this system. There's nothing awkward salesy. Hello or there. Push it's Zimmer. There's nothing awkward push your salesy about, hey, come have fun with me. Let's build some community. Let's have some fellowship. Let's get together. Let's have coffee. You don't have to sell them something. Tell them about doTERRA. Don't sell them, tell them. Ooh, that's a good one. Hey, Katie. Yeah? Make a graphic about that. You don't have to sell them. Just tell them. Right? You don't have to sell them. Just tell them. I don't feel bad. I'm going to tell every single person there is about doTERRA. All right. So um, who was that that answered that? Angelique, Gabriella. These are really, really, really good questions, people. All right. So if you get in this group and I see your name and I start going off on a tangent, don't feel like I'm attacking you. I get very excited. These are awesome questions. We all need to hear them over and over and over and over and over because we forget. Right? 
So everybody, please give some hearts and thumbs up for the newbies, right? I project my voice, and sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, she's yelling at me. I am not. You are brave, and you are awesome for asking these questions. Please keep asking them. I go super fast, and people can interpret that as um, being short and abrupt. Newbies, ask questions. Be brave, because you're helping everybody when you do. Give them some hearts and thumbs up for um, asking questions and being brave. All right. Just reading here quick. Talk to our waitress this weekend when she saw me putting lemon in my mimosa conversation starter. So we are going to do live, I think it's next Monday, about conversation starter, approaching people in the most random places. I want you to think that everywhere you go, in the world, do I have some doTERRA in my purse or in my pocket for a conversation starter? I went to the Kelly Clarkson concert and the only doTERRA I had was neroli in my pocket and lip gloss. So no matter where I go, I have a conversation starter. I use that neroli in front of people everywhere. Started conversations. If people, ooh, I love this, Sadie. So I say this all the time. Sadie Hawkins said it. If they're coming to your class, they're already interested. Who the heck leaves their family, drives somewhere, comes to an essential oils class if they aren't already interested? No one. All you got to do is help them order the products. Don't make so my biggest frustrations with people that have products that are selling them and I go somewhere and I want to buy them. I wouldn't be there if I didn't want to buy the thing, folks, all right? It doesn't matter if it's a washer, a dryer, a reverse osmosis system, essential oils, I don't care, a shirt, I don't care what it is. Sell me the dang thing. Don't make me do all the work and ask you to buy your product. That's horrific. I'm the customer. Help me get it. Show me how easy it is to get it. Show me how easy it is to get it for the best price. I don't need to know the PhD of your product. Ask me what I want it for and then tell me why it's going to be amazing for me and my problem and then sell it. I don't have time to jack around. Just sell it to me already. All right. <laughs> we do all need a Katie in the back room making graphics for us. All right. So why... Um, do I have Katie, right? I don't need Katie. Y'all don't need Katie's to run your doTERRA business. I spend an hour to two hours on my doTERRA business, right? So if you're efficient, if you're using our FAQ system, our trifold, our make and takes, creating a duplicatable system and keeping it simple, you don't need a Katie. I needed a Katie when I was running a diamond business and a biz tips group with 27,000 builders that aren't on my team, all right? So why does Katie make all these graphics? She makes thousands of graphics for us. In WWZD, you get links to over a thousand graphics that were professionally made compliant by Katie, okay? So she's doing all this stuff for you all, not to build my doTERRA business, all right? So don't be, Distracted by, oh, I can't be diamond or blue diamond because I don't have a Katie, or that's not what Lita said, but I'm going off on a different tangent, right? We all love to have a Katie. Katie started out as a cook and picking up dry cleaning, <laughs> and now she's um, a million and one other valuable uses, right? As you grow in your business, pay for your weaknesses. I was failing at... Um, like wifely, housely duties. I suck at that. I ain't going to lie. I always have. I, don't, I do laundry now, but I don't do dishes. I don't cook anymore. I don't, I don't want to. And I don't have to. So pay to make your pain go away, right? I have a cleaning lady because I want one, and it eliminates uh, fighting in my household. There's zero fighting now about who cleaned the toilet or who emptied the garbage. I pay to make my pain go away, right? Not because we have a ton of money. I had some of these services when we were didn't have money. I chose not to go to Starbucks and not to go out to eat so that I could have someone clean. So pay to make your pains go away. 
You can not spend money on other things to get the things that are going to make your life easier. All right. I'm very excited today. You can tell I've been taking my vitamins and my, L -L or my, my DDR Prime and I'm all wound up today. It's so funny that y'all have the same problem with people taking pictures of recipes. That's so interesting. All right. So here's a good, good one, right? If you see people start to take out, first of all, ask people to put their phones away. Say, hey, I'm just asking for 45 minutes of your time today. If you could just set your phones aside, uh, put them on silent, unless you have some special circumstance, that would be awesome. Let's pretend we're in 1985, folks. And let's talk to each other and let's set some, let's have an electronic free zone for a whopping 45 minutes, unless you have a special circumstance, right? Find different ways to do it. Maybe that goes great at one class. Maybe it doesn't go great and you learn that you don't want to do that anymore. Try new things. All right, since you don't need her, then give her to me. I don't know what that means. I'm just trying to read through here quick. I don't have time to jack around. <laughs> Another Zimmerism. <laughs> All right. Hey, to make your pains go away. Lisa says, do you roll on DDR Prime or take it with water? Yes, yes, and yes. I roll DDR Prime on my feet every night in a nighttime roller. A nighttime roller is 20 drops I just send. 20 drops DDR Prime, 20 drops Arbor Vita, topped with fractionated coconut oil, rolled on the bottom of my feet every night. To know what it does, grab your book and look it up. Look up each oil, and that's the beginning of this video. And DDR Prime Soft Gel, I'm taking one at bedtime every night right now. With I went from two PB assists to one. I'm doing one DDR Prime Soft Gel, one PB assist, and two Serenity Soft Gels. Maria, <laughs> Maria knows me well. She says, I can tell you haven't been in WWZD for a while. So you're getting a glimpse of what WWZD is all about. We get real in WWZD, and I'm ready to get back to WWZD. All right, Erin, how much LLV do you give as a sample to a team member? Everybody answer this for me because you all know this by heart by now. So one, Erin, type in how to sample LLV in the search bar. All you got to do is type LLV sample, and there's videos and posts. Everybody else, I want you to answer that for me. That shows me who's paying attention and um, what you do and don't know. Fabulous. Karen already answered it. Way to go, Karen. All right, so good stuff here. I got super passionate about a couple topics. One, when I answer questions, I get super excited. Sometimes I go fast and abrupt. That is not geared towards you. It's how I roll. Sometimes I raise my voice because I get excited. That is not geared towards whoever answered the question. I don't even remember who asked questions anymore, right? It's because I get excited about these topics. Keep asking questions, all right? So one, I want to start teaching you how to run your own groups, right? So people are asking questions that have been asked a lot. So what happens when that, ha when that happens, I go and create a post and a video about it, right? So LLV and sampling, we get asked that so much. Obviously, one of the questions we asked is, does that really work? And that one drives me crazy simply because I wouldn't do it if it didn't work, right? I wouldn't teach y'all to do it if it didn't work. So go to, nobody asked that today, by the way. Um, go to the search bar and type in LLV sample, and that'll come up. Say you have questions about a vendor event. Before asking questions, start looking things up on your own. I teach you that because I want you to then duplicate that in your customer and builder group. I want you to teach how to empower your customers. When someone messages me and says, what do I do for an ear infection? I don't answer that. I teach them where to find it themselves. Empower them. I want to empower you. Asking questions is not wrong. It's how we learn. Every time you ask a question, I need these questions. I don't care how basic it is, whether it's just getting started or, or doesn't matter. I need these questions because it tells me what I need to go and build for you. 
So Lori Cooper Potter, WWZD is a 35-day training course. What would Zimmers do? And I tell you every day for 35 days what we are doing to build our business and what you should be doing to build yours step by step every single day for a month. It starts April 30th and goes for 35 days, but it's open now. It's a Facebook group. We've already got 20 posts in there to get you started. Training videos, free tools that you can't get anywhere else. So join it. Best training you're going to get for 45 bucks, right? So we used to do one-on-one -on -one mentoring and it was $125 for one hour with me. This way I can help way more people for 35 days straight and it only costs you $45. All right, so you're getting thousands and thousands of dollars in um, tools and trainings for $45. All right, so Mindy, can you repeat that recipe again for the bottoms of your feet? I'll post it just like everything else. I'll post the link. I'll post everything at the top when I'm done. It's 20 DDR digestant, herbivita, fractionated coconut oil rolled on the bottoms of my feet every night at bedtime. Right. Look at all of you answering how to sample the LOV. We will be okay if you start WWCD early. I might have to hop over there and do some stuff because it takes too long in between. I need some time off. It's super, super good information, but it's also exhausting for us. We go live three times a week and post every day. So it is a lot. The groups now stay open. It'll be open. We'll even keep registration open after it started. We're also not closing the group. So if you were in November, February, um, or registered for this one, we're keeping the content open. So if you um, feel like you're behind and missed out, we have not removed anybody from that group. We're going to keep them open. The content has become so valuable that we will. All right, we went way over today, hour and 15 minutes. All right, so get your... Thank you for your service. Thank you to the newbies for the questions today. If you don't ask those questions, nobody knows what to do. So keep asking the questions. All right. Um, start learning to use the units tab or announcements tab in this group. Type get started in the search bar. If you're wanting to learn about vendor events, type vendor. If you're wanting to learn about LLV sampling, type LLV sample. Doesn't matter what you're wanting to learn, you can use the search bar, but always make sure you're using the announcements and units tab. Um, key information in the cover photo of this group. Most commonly asked questions are in this group. All right, I hope you all have a good day. Happy oiling. See you next week.